Welcome to our lecture online. So that we get a better understanding of compounding, we're going to side by side show what we did on the last time. This is what we call monthly compounding, and now we're going to do daily compounding. So you can see the difference. The equation is the same. The amount you end up with after a certain amount of time has elapsed is equal to the original principle times one plus the rate over the number of conversions per year times the number of conversions per year times the number of years. All right, and when we did monthly compounding, notice there were 12 months in a year, and so it was 12 times 6.5 because we had it invested for 6.5 years. Now we sh we'll show you what daily compounding looks like for the same, for the same um, numbers. So we have $800 invested at 5% compounded daily for six and a half years. So the amount, and I think this pen is dying on me, so let me try a different pen. So the amount is equal, oh, and I should write the amount as t is equal to 6.5 because it's invested for six and a half years. And so that would be equal to the original investment, which is $800, times one plus the rate. The rate is 0 0.05, but now we have to divide it by the number of conversions, meaning the number of times per year that we're adding interest. Well, if it's daily compounding, we do that 365 days in a year, and then we have to multiply that or take the exponent 365 times 6.5. So the number of days in a year times six and a half years, the number of conversions per year, if we do it daily, it's 365. All right, let's see what that looks like when we calculate it. So you have 0 0.05 divided by 365 plus one equals, so what we end up with is we end up with $800 times one, one point, oh, 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 that's three zeros, one, three, six, nine, eight, six, one, three, six, nine, eight, six, and that's then raised to the exponent, 365 times 6.5, so it would be exponent 2,372.5. And 72.5. Obviously, without a calculator, you would have trouble doing that one. Okay, so when we do that, we get this is equal to $800 times 1.383999836. And so that will then be equal to 1,000, oh, I should put a dollar sign, $1,107.20. Now notice, compare this amount to this amount. So if we compound monthly, we end up with $1,106.48. When we compound it daily, we end up with $1,107.20. All banks these days compound daily, so this is what you would earn on an $800 investment invested at 5%. Not a lot of difference, a little bit of difference by going from monthly compounding to daily compounding. And that is how it's done. It's less than a dollar. Less than a dollar on an $800 investment for six and a half years. Not a lot of difference. 